What is up, everybody? We are back with the Capitalism Lab, episode number four. We left off with a record-setting operating profit of almost $12 million. We have $23 million to work with in our cash balance. And I believe we actually set up another apartment complex in Green Evers. We have two branches for a bank still. We are not making money yet. And I think I'm going to try to mess with the loan allocation even more than I already have. We're going to get rid of both of these. And we're going to put 60% in AAA. That'll be a new allocation. Our interest rate is still fine. We're paying what the competition is paying. We don't quite have the market share of these other competitors, but that's okay. ING Group joins the competition. People are buying our shares. They like what we're doing. Occupancy, 98%. That's fine. But we're charging a premium for that. Deposits have declined, actually. I, I might increase the training budget if traffic continues to go higher than expected. All right. First up in this video, what do we plan on doing? Opening another branch, first and foremost. Somewhere in the city. We, just, we can't compete with, uh, with two branches. And... We are in an expansion, so hopefully the default rates will stay low, especially for the AAA loans that we are giving out. Um, oh yeah, a headquarters. This could be something we open this episode, just because our operating profit is, has hit record levels. We can afford to do that. Oh yeah, it's just the land cost. That's the that's the only problem. We might have to put it in a cheaper city or a more rural area, which okay. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, corporations. I want to look at our firm over here. So, yeah, we have eight apartments here. Most of them in Craig, two in Green Evers. Okay, then we might have just opened another one in Craig. But look at these gain in values. Nice. This one. Yeah. I think this is new. Charging 80. We're going to bump this up to 100%. And get the simulation going. Bring in some cash. Uh, we still have an investment in Inditex. Quite a small investment, around 6 mil. We don't need the cash right now, so we can kind of just let this ride. Um, this is our own stock. It's done particularly well this year. Well, actually, it's okay, it's slumping this year, about a month in, but... Lifetime, we've been good. They like it. <laughs> We're trading at a PE of around 90. They're pricing in a lot of growth. Chem China trading at a PE of 9. Let's go ahead. And the public doesn't. Wow, it's owned by uh, Ren as well as HP owns around 18 cent. That is it. I kind of want to get in on this, but I, there's no way they actually let me in. Yeah, they want 417. Not happening. CCB was another one I wanted to get into, but the, the public doesn't own any of it either. Mostly owned by a lot of private investors. Other ones with a low PE, Tata. None of these are really public, though. Monsanto is, but it's... Trading at too much of a premium for me. Pfizer has tanked. I like what I see. That could be a nice steal. Earnings per share. I mean, that's insane. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pause the game and try to make a move with this cash balance. So if we want to open another branch and headquarters this episode, we're going to need... Probably close to 50 million, I would think, just because of the land cost. It's not the actual building cost, it's the most expensive thing. 
and it's, it's deciding where to put it. I don't really know if it matters. We don't need traffic. Maybe out in this area. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ford has their headquarters here, so... We... Yeah, we could put it out here. Let's get an idea of what that would look like. Headquarters. 28. So around 30 million for the headquarters. That's a pretty big purchase. But... We do have a very healthy profit right here. The only thing that I'm worried about is if this banking venture goes south. Because, I mean, we, we've still struggled to maintain a level of profitability over the three or so years that this has been open. I'm hoping this new allocation will help. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why we're not actually... I don't know why defaults... I mean, look, defaults... Zero. <laughs> Um, I don't know if we're still in these or not. I but we we should we should be out of these income after. Yeah, see, we're taking around four mil after losses. But for some reason, when we look at the balance sheet year to date, it's our gross profit. To... Well, actually, okay, these operating expenses are pretty crucial here. This overhead for branches and then this. This PR expense, but we need a brand, so it kind of has to happen. What I will say is, we might fit a little. We actually, I could try increasing the training budget at all of our branches and decreasing the advertising budget, which I think has to be done at each brand. I don't know how much that is. Yeah, I'm kidding. Spending around 300k. Let's just. Get rid of that and set our training to, okay, yeah, so 164 there, our other branch is up here. So this will be about the same as the advertising costs, but our employees will be getting more efficient. We want to keep raising deposits. So our brand, yeah, it's going to probably falter now, but we should be a more efficient bank that services the customers in front of us which I think is pretty important. Okay. What were we doing before this? Right, we we're trying to raise cash. Um, yeah, I want to park some of this in Pfizer. I just wish they had, they were, their shares were public because I'm going to end up paying a pretty large premium to buy it out from any of these existing shareholders. I'll see. Okay, <laughs> doesn't want to sell my stock. His stock. Um, he wants eight thousand a share. I mean, these premiums are just too high. We can't do that. The public is <sighs> Japan Toba. Okay, the public owns a good amount of that. Uh, Starbucks. Exxon, and Sonic. Panasonic is our main competitor. This could be a good hedge. We put, say, I want to buy, how do I only buy a smaller, um, buy all of this? Bondwell. Looking kind of cheap, actually. Can't really take on a decent position, though. Well, 17 mil, roughly. And they want 2,400 a share. Nope. So our best guess is probably Panasonic. I just wish I could buy less of it. So then our next best would be uh, Starbucks or Japan Toba. I would say probably Starbucks. I haven't purchased. I don't want this much of it though. I wish I could buy less. I don't know why that isn't an option for me. 
On to the next one. Crafts? Nope. Um. Okay, this will be around 20 mil. You know what? Let's get into it. They pay... Not... Well, Dividend's not the best, but... We need to diversify. It's probably your best option right now. We have around 10 mil left in cash. So hopefully we'll see some decent returns on our market investments. Still an in expansion. Inflation's running a little rapid. I'm kind of worried about that. Is this land value? Yeah, right in, <laughs> right in there. Uh, okay. What else can we do? We can. How much is a new branch? So we know we need around thirty mil for our headquarters. For another branch, depending on where it goes, I was thinking somewhere near. So yeah, another twenty-one mil. So yeah, around fifty total. And that's a good index, and it's still in a nice spot. People are buying super shots at these prices. They like it. They like it. Okay. We try to see why this isn't profitable. We're losing even more money now. Around four thousand, or four sorry, four million. It's probably because. Well, this should go to zero. Uh. Our, our cash balance is going up. We have a lot of cash. Oh, I wonder if we can transfer cash from our bank. I don't know how much we need, though. The maximum... Oh, we can't transfer any. It's too bad. This should go down. We look at defaults, this doesn't make any sense. I see. So. Oh, NEC acquired an ING. Uh, okay. 23. So this 24 would come right here, right? Let's pause. Net loan incomes after losses. Around a million dollars. Why? Because for some reason, we're still taking losses on these C-level tranches. Doesn't make sense to me because here we shouldn't actually be loaning out any. But it's still around 40%. So it hasn't actually transferred over. See what I'm saying? That's puzzling. What are default rates? 6%. Okay. Let's boost this up to 80. We're in a good economic state. We can loan out more money. I want this to be shifting. This should be what we're seeing, and this is what we're actually seeing. Okay, I think we're on the right track. I just don't know why this hasn't switched over yet. But it should, over time. Um, we should see these changing. And I actually want to see if that's true. Capital ratio is too low. That's a problem. Uh, does this change at all as we've gone in the simulator? We're moving slowly. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe that's an issue. Change this back. Liquidity risks. Honestly, we can move this down since we're getting a lot of calls. I want to keep this cash. Let's transfer that. Um, 
Oh, are we seeing this go down? Finally. E slowly. Good. Good. Our margin's higher. Our net interest incomes are a lot higher. Swatch goes public. Uh, pause. That could be a good opportunity. Uh, where are they? I'll get in on the IPO hype. They just go public. Maybe not. All right, whatever. I can't find them. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Wow, this just improved drastically. As we're slowly getting out of these. Nice. I like that. But yet. Why? costs are just outrageous wow this is all right our bank is gonna bleed for now uh maybe once we get a headquarters we'll be able to outsource some of this do a better job we're still having liquidity problems i don't really know why i lowered the uh loans to asset ratio Our incomes are way higher than these defaults. All right, I can't really do much about it now. Our operating profit continues to rise though. So even as we're bleeding on the paper, we're making money. And I really wanna get into something else. We're up 12% on Japan Toba, up 25% on Inditex. That's around 26 million. I want to put this or another 10 million to work somewhere. Oh, IBC has come crashing down. That could be a bargain. Let's get in. I don't know what happened to IBC. Actually, take a look at that before we just throw money in. But they are losing money. What's going on? What do they even do? Insurance. What's going on? They don't have any liabilities. A nice, a, a lot of assets. Enormous amount of land. A lot of bonds. But yet. Operating revenue is zero. Why is that? They're first in insurance. They are leader in... Huh. I think that should turn around. That's definitely a gamble. But in about a year or so, by 2021, we should have enough... Well, actually, okay, it's December. By 2022, we should have more than enough to open our third location as well as our headquarters. I still don't know if we're expanding fast enough to capture a good amount of market share in our bank, though. LG has entered the market with no brand, but decent service quality. Better than Panasonic, and they have a majority of the market share due to brand. They're just out. Everyone's outscaling us and just branches. I don't. Uh. Okay. Let's take a look at these. Yikes! This is not going as good as we thought. IBC. Very tough correction. 
once they start making money again, I think this will go back up. I don't know what kind of problem they're having with insurance, but they are the leader, so if anyone's going to rebound, it's going to be them. We could go ahead and... Oh, no. We're going to transfer some money. But liquidity issues. Service quality is one of the best in the industry. Um... Decent rates compared to our current environment. Uh, margins dropped. How are we looking? Oh, all right. This isn't as bad. This isn't as severe as it was. Wow, we we bled around forty three million though since opening the bank six years ago. Kind of disappointing. If we cut the training completely, we could be almost broken even. But we, yeah, our interest income has yikes dropped quite a bit. I don't know why we're still in all these C-rated bonds. Uh, okay. What are what of these can we sell? We've made a decent amount on India. I I don't like this interface that much, at least on the screen. But we could get out of these two and open our headquarters. So Japan and Inditex. Out of that, and they buy it right up. is on a roll kind of a shame we have to get out yeah we're out gives us 37 million headquarters here we come yeah let's place it it's right by ford okay what can we do with this uh Ooh, wow, a lot of options. Well, let's go ahead and get a CEO office for our player. I don't want to take in a salary just because I just want to put the money right in. I don't really know what there's not much to do. Finance department, what can we do with that? Oh, set a dividend. Whatever. Real estate department. Auto manage apartments. Yes. Okay, that'll be nice. Human resources. Um It'll train people faster but more expensive. It's okay. We'll do that. Uh, talent. <laughs> uh, we don't operate in any of these industries. Hotels. Oh, yeah, hotels is something I'd like to dabble in. Investor relations, public relations, finance. Uh, investor relations will help improve stock performance. I don't want to spend that much. I that's not the biggest deal right now. Public relations. What does this do? Corporate brand. Okay, this is important. Let's yeah, we need branding. Operating. What can we do? Look at candidate. Uh. Oh God, the sound. Ease. Uh yeah. Uh. So I mean I mean the best thing I think we got out of this is the branding. And 
Are these all? Oh, these are. Oh, you can hire them. Oh, I did not see that. See, there's. Uh, let's see their expertise. Hmm. Marketing and training is probably the biggest two we want. Like Bloomberg. Can't hire them, though. Now we get into some of the. Hmm. Personality? Jeez. Honestly, any of these people are probably fine for starting out. Um, I don't know. New salary of six. <laughs> Too expensive. I'm not doing it. Forget this office. What are these technical? What are these other positions, though? That's what I don't understand. I don't know what how much do they want. Two mil. That's better. We'll do it. Change training budget. Change R and D. Yeah. See, I don't. I don't. I just don't know if we need it yet. We're not big enough. Whatever. Okay. This person has to resign. You must reuse. Let's change this back. The only departments we need then. Uh, this we might dabble with later on. You know, honestly, yeah, well, we could spend, let's say, 200k public relations. We want to develop the brand. Adjust training. Yeah, we need good training. The state is, we're going to put it, everything at 100%. Uh, <laughs> CEO, I don't really need a. Actually, I have a lot of, I should have a lot of money tied up in, oh yeah, and then we see. Can I sell this? A lot of money in this. Okay. That gives us 33 mil. Do I have bonds? I swear I bought bonds too. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. Where do I park this 33 mil? IBC? Yeah. Do it. So we're heavily in IBC right now. More so our personal character than the business itself. God of War. <laughs> NBA 2K11 is <laughs> somehow still selling. All right. So our headquarters is set up. This should help. Our monthly profit might take a hit from that. Yep. Now we just need enough for our third branch. And hopefully our branding will improve. As well as our training. So we're spending a lot of money. This, yeah, this will take a big hit. But I think it'll be worth it once we get this profitable. What is next? We could open up another apartment to hedge against our cash flow that might be depleted. For some reason, we're still running out of cash, though, on our balance sheet for our bank. Well, yikes, this margin has gotten slim. I don't know why. I don't know why that is.
Yikes, we're down 41%. CBC. A little too low. What's going on here? Okay. I think we're in a manageable position. This is a good place to end the episode. We opened our headquarters. We didn't get the third bank, but next episode, hopefully the market will turn around that it'll allow us to do so. We're going to put it up near this apartment, so we're going to improve the, well, shopping convenience even more. Should make this land more attractive. Should also continue to develop the brand. We have the headquarters to do that. Our training is maxed. I will research how we be make this more profitable because these allocations aren't what they should be. I don't know how to move these faster, but we need to improve this interest margin. That's how we're going to become profitable. Our service is great. Best in the industry. Our branding isn't there. It should be there. <laughs> we still have liquidity problems, but that will all be solved next episode. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you next